pitching. It is sometimes possible to apply pitch to the blades without sufficient engine power to compensate for the extra rotor drag. This may be due either to limited engine power or a fixed throttle setting resulting from an engine malfunction. Overpitching can occur at any altitude and in various stages of flight and is usually due to incompetence or overeagerness. The condition is most likely to occur when approaching from the hover, especially when approaching from downwind or when heavy. In such conditions, if the rotor RPM is allowed to decrease, the total rotor thrust will reduce. The instinctive reaction is to raise the collective lever, thus increasing the pitch on all blades. But an increase in blade pitch tilts the total reaction further back, reducing the lift drag ratio and causing even more rotor drag. With more rotor drag, rotor RPM continues to decrease while the coning angle increases. Moving the direction of the individual blade's rotor thrust inwards. This yields less of a vertical component and an even greater loss of total rotor thrust. Eventually you reach a stage where no further power is available. The rotor RPM decays rapidly and the coning angle increases. You are in a no-win situation. Your natural reaction to raise the collective further only makes the situation worse. To recover from overpitching, you must lower the collective and increase rotor RPM, even though this will cause you to lose more height, just when you can't afford it. Overpitching often occurs at high altitude, where insufficient power is available to hover. As speed decreases, the amount of power required and the rate of descent increases. When the engine cannot supply sufficient power, the rate of descent increases even further. In this situation, any increase in collective will cause a rapid reduction in rotor RPM. The best case scenario is a hard landing and an interview with your company's chief pilot. The worst case scenario is an uncontrolled crash.